This summer, the King Caesar House in Duxbury will feature artwork that celebrates the Bradford House and family. The Duxbury Rural and Historical Society commissioned several artists from the South Shore to take a guided tour of the house and then submit their interpretation through paint, sculpture, or whatever artistic medium struck them. We popped in while they were setting up. The Duxbury Rural and Historical Society will be hosting an art exhibit entitled Reimagining Bradford. The show will feature several local artists commissioned to submit their interpretation of the Bradford House. The Reimagining Bradford exhibit will be here at the King Caesar House in Duxbury. The show starts in late June and runs until late August. Right now we'll head inside the studio and see how preparation is going. This particular exhibit is a new concept, a new idea for the Historical Society. We haven't done anything like this in the past. Traditionally, we've done artifact based exhibits, parts of the collection that we've been able to pull out and research and explain and present to the public. Um, this in particular is a, a completely um, new concept. We are inviting artists in versus using what we already have. We're, and also we're moving away from traditional historical artifacts, objects, to, to artwork, which it, which is a great way of understanding and experience a historical house. Jesse Fries is one of the local artists who was helping set up while we were there. Her submission took over 100 hours to produce, so she was able to explain it in great detail. And it's a quilt design, even though it's a painting, of the father in his ship, the brigantine ship, the Mercury. So I incorporated that in the centerpiece. And then the four daughters who were Maria, Lucia, Elizabeth and Charlotte, the very important uh, figures to me, because each of them were very independent. They had grand like ideas, I think, that they weren't afraid to be free thinkers and do their thing. One of the daughters was a, um, an amateur botanist, so I did four uh, flowers in the, the quilt painting, uh, all local flowers that we would use and, and grow. So I incorporated that into the picture and the fabric and the tapestry that was throughout the house and I just kind of wanted to tell a story and put it all together and that's what I did. Locating the artist for the exhibit was no small feat in itself, but now that it's come together, it seems to have been worth all of the time and effort. It's been a huge process to go through, but each artist is completely different and that's what's great about the show. They've been handpicked because they are, are so diverse. No two artists are alike. At the King Caesar House in Duxbury, I'm Brian Sullivan, PAC-TV Community News.